Hello everybody and welcome back. This disturbance, is this your doing, Ingwei? I take it you can see through my disguise. None of my soldiers mask themselves. Twas a mistake, but... I didn't think this could be finished without using my trump card. Trump card? Ingwei! Velvet, tis you. Ingwei, please don't use that power. Ingwei, please! Why did you follow me? It was a mistake to let you keep that cipher. Now is the time to let you in on a secret. Velvet. It was me. I destroyed Valentine. What? Back then, if I hadn't known that this man was our father, if I didn't know his battle plans and know that he didn't stand a chance, I wouldn't have made the cauldron run amok. No, you... I didn't think it would cause such destruction. You were protected by the Cypher and escaped the curse and disaster. I was saved because... I was hiding in the cauldron's shadow. I watched the kingdom fall into ruin before my very eyes. And I was spared. As you had intended. You talk as if you understand me. In order to save my father, I destroyed an entire kingdom. Can you imagine the pain I feel? I still remember what you said when you looked down at me. You did well, traitor. Now the cauldron is mine. There were other soldiers nearby. I could not call you my son. You don't remember, do you? You didn't care at all. Your eyes and heart were full of greed for the cauldron. No. Is that why you gave the ring to Elfaria? I'd rather the fairies have it than give it to you. That must hurt the Aesir. You. I will pay for my sins with my life. I shall be cursed, and I will die. If I am the only one who has to suffer my mother's curse, then so be it. Stop it, Ingwei! But I will take you and the cauldron to my grave with me. Try using your magic. If you think you can surpass the power of Darkova,
The transformation aborted. I couldn't finish the spell. Don't interfere, Velvet. Mother wished for my death. No! Listen to me, Ingwe! Don't worry about me. Go escape now! Back then, we were scared. Scared that our grandfather would kill us. So we swore in front of him. Swore that we didn't love our mother when she was standing right there. She was crying then. But she didn't cry from the pain. She was happy that we chose the path of life instead of death at his hands. She knew that she could not escape death. If we sided with her, we would have been killed also. That's not true. We had forsaken her. We didn't lift a finger to save her. That's why she cursed us before she died. Grandfather was hiding this. It's the second part of the memo she wrote to us. She writes of her love for both of us. That, that can't be true. I... I abandoned her. You're safe, Your Majesty. There they are! Kill them before they do more harm! Wait, those two are... What? It looks like this is the end for us, Ingwei. <clears throat> Over here! Hurry! Prince Cornelius. You must be wondering about Ingwei. He left his bed, and we haven't found him. But I'm certain he will appear again. Have you seen my father? He's badly injured, but he's run off. Master Croy? Oh, Princess Velvet, I finally have the answer. I, I, I have to tell you. Master, please rest. No, this is important. Listen to me. As the sorcerer said, the epic poems detail the path leading to the world's end. But it's not the path to becoming king. That path has been seen in our country's prophecies. This is the path that must be avoided. Master! Even if this interpretation is correct, the, the outcome is horrible. Two humans survive the end of the world. Princess Velvet, only two will be... Spared. Father! Master Croy. This scroll has the details. Please use the utmost care and try to avert the Armageddon. Perhaps that is your duty and your destiny. I think I believe it goes I'm trying to remember the order of how the characters go I think it went I know Cornelius and Valkyrie I know Valkyrie is the last one Cornelius is the first one and then I think Mercedes I know has to fight King Onyx I feel like it must be the Lord of the Netherworld. I 
think it's Oswald is second. And then Velvet is supposed to go up against the Cauldron, I think. Fiery Six-Eyed Beast spreads Guiding Hand to Salvation. The one who removes the torment is my own son. So Six-Eyed Beast must be Darkova. Three-Headed Demon Beast. This section is based on a prophecy by a great king of Titania. Yeah. Of Titania royal family. Yeah, so that would be that would be Cornelius. One that threatens the darkness is the shadow of the lost master. The unleashed frenzy of death. Something seems odd about these phrases. Odette, queen of the dead, has no master to unleash her. If the lord of the netherworld is not Odette, then what being can emerge from the unknown? Only King Gallon, who is claimed in the netherworld, comes to mind. Will he lead the army? So yeah, I think it's... I think Oswald is next. Having... I've heard that Shadow of Death, yeah, so it's Oswald is second. The looming blaze cometh, burning down the forests, yeah, so that's that's Mercedes. And then the cauldron. Oh, wait, does it say? Does that mean that the throne itself does not get scorched? If so, it could be suggesting that the one of the throne is able to face the flames. So, the cauldron is of course the cauldron. When the princess's efforts are in vain, the nightmare repeats and the Armageddon will begin. Our king must be the one to trigger it. Though blazing arrows are unleashed, the floating fire cannot be stopped, it can only be chained. So that's Velvet in this next. If any weapon can match the raw power of the cauldron, it would be some manner of cipher and not a blade, but something that can chain it. In the cauldron that breathes despair, the blood of the ancient spoils. Valent. In other words, this must be Princess Velvet, yeah. Velvet then is stopped by redstone, the Armageddon will be stopped. Revival. The last psalm explicitly states that the world would be revived. The demon lord and the magi have taken this to mean that whoever survives Armageddon will become the new kings of the world. Demon lord sought victory through wars and the mages tried to control the Armageddon directly, yet they were all mistaken. The two lords that survive will be chosen from the five challengers of the disasters. Yeah, so then last would be... Um, Gwendolyn then. So what's the move I got for her now? So what is that crossbind? What is this one? Release the chain over a vast area to chase and restrict nearby foes. Okay. Shared item box. The item box is now shared among all characters. You can switch to different boxes by pressing triangle. Alright, cool.